Hi guys, this is Eva from Crafting with Angels in UK and I am going to show you today how to make a card with a fun and fast background. We are going to use Bunch of Blossom stamping set and um, the punch that comes with it, I think it's called Blossom Builder Punch or something like that. It will be all in uh, on my blog. And we are going to make a beautiful flower. What do we need for this card? Cardstock, standard size. And this is Mango Melody. And this is, can you see how it's shiny? It's a glossy paper, so it looks like a photographic paper. So we will need that. And we will need stripes of the glossy paper. And then I have from layering ovals the one scalloped one and the larger just underneath to, to use it as a mat. So <clears throat> what we're going to do first is we're going to do some stamping on these guys because it needs time to dry. You have to make sure that it's dried properly because we are going to be using blends and the blends would smudge things if they were not dried properly. So let's start. We are going to do little leaves and a little petals. I'm going to do three and that's where these strips come from. So because it's glossy, you have to be very careful when you stamp on it because it's sliding a little bit. So you need to be careful. And then you need to make sure that it's dried before you try to color it. I'm using the stamping mat because some, somehow, I don't know if it's completely flat and it's just, it was giving me hard time and it worked quite fine on the mat. So I'm going to use it. Important point is with the punch, you make sure that you stamp it right away. And this is why I used um, strips, because then usually you can position it easier. Uh, but still, I see that for the leaves, it's very easy to position your punch for. So I'm just going to make three leaves like that, and that's easy. And then I'm going to make these leaves and these leaves are a little bit, okay, so I'm going to do them a little bit in an angle from the other side. Okay, I have to just in case I would mess it up a lot, which is possible, because as I said, it's moving if you are not careful. So I'm just going to stamp two leaves and three petals. And I said that I will do it from this angle. Again, I'm just going to try if I have enough. I do. See what I mean? I went too fast and it smudged it a little bit. So I will have to do it a little bit slower and more carefully. See the difference? So take your time. Okay. So that's my stamping down for now. So now I'm going to leave it to dry while I'll work on, on the background. For the background, I am using the photographic, the glossy paper, and I'm just going to simply smudge it with the ink pad. And I want green background so I'm just going to open it and I use this side rather than this side because this is closer to the edge and it's um, easier to work the way how I do the background now and just you know no fear <laughs> you just um, smudge the smudge the paper
So that's my background done. Wasn't it fun and easy and super fast? So that's that. I'm going to make sure that the ink is dry and you can see it when you um, you won't you won't probably see it underneath the camera but um, and actually I can't see it so I just have to take it and carefully look at the black and if it's a little bit still wet then you I suggest you wait because you will smudge it otherwise Stezen would uh, get smudged when when we use the the blend markers so that's why I'm using uh, Memento Okay, so I think slash hope that I'm ready to color it. I realized that it's very fast and easy to color with the blends on this paper. And actually the easiest way is if you just go even over the edges like this, and then you are nice and even. See how easy it is? But I didn't like it doesn't create white edge because I colored it so I'm actually going to color it properly okay so that's my coloring done I use the granny apple green dark and Highland Heather also dark So I'm going to show you the difference between Those two flowers those two petals, but first I'm going to start with um, with the leaves. I Just love how it looks On this paper it's so it's fast effect of watercolor I guess If I would go from this side, then I, and now I punch it, I would waste the flower next to it. So I'm putting it in the in the punch from the other side. Oh, actually, I said that I will show you how it would look. It doesn't look bad. It's just um, your preference. I'm going to show you in a minute the difference. Here is the difference that this one doesn't have the edge and this one does and I do prefer the the edge okay so I want this 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 one this one and second leaf is here okay the rest can go and I'm going to glue it on on this we're going to make flower i'm going to use the stem from the stamp set so i'm just going to stamp that up and now i'm going to position it two leaves will be i mean the leaves will be glued on and the petals two at the bottom will be glued on and the third one is going to be on dimensionals so I'm going to choose whichever I like the best and that will go on a, on a top. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. They look all the same, to be honest. Okay, so I think I will glue these down. And then this one will go on a top to make my flower. I'm just going to glue it with the uh, liquid glue. And I'm going to use my positioning tool. I'm just going to pick it up and put a bit of glue. I'm actually running out, so hopefully it will not fail me completely. Perfect. I really like this positioning tool. It's so easy to hold small things like just now. So we glued these down. I really like the liquid glue. I say it all the time because it gives me more 
wriggle room to position it properly. So I just like this, the glue. And this goes on dimensionals. Okay, and that's the color, I mean color flower glued on. And now this goes on top of that. Okay, and that will go on this and that and it will go like that and I'm going to put um, sentiment here in a corner the sentiment is saying grateful for a friend like you perfect and that will go on that Okay, so I'm going to leave this actually for a second because I want that to be dry and not to smudge it in the last minute. Okay, I think we are dry. So I'll apply it carefully anyway. And I'm just going to glue the layers. Okay, you were probably thinking, why did I put so many layers on? But uh, every time when, when I have few layers, because this is like one, two, three, four, five, six layers, I'm just paranoid that if I would put you know just three dots or something it wouldn't hold so i'm always putting more glue than i need but in any case the card is done it looks very nice i'm very pleased with it it's pretty and shiny i really like it so i hope that you enjoyed my tutorial if you did please give me a thumbs up on uh, you on my youtube channel there are links in the description to for you to follow to the to my store to purchase any of the items that i was using today and or just to check out my my blog and other videos have a good day